Today's question is, can you drink cold drinks when you have a cold? Hello and welcome to Med with Sam. My name is Dr. Samira and I am so happy to see you here. If you're new to this channel, welcome. I like to make content that is medical science simplified and everything I say is backed by scientific research. If you like that kind of content, then do hit the subscribe button. I also have a newsletter that I release once a week. So if you'd like this kind of content in your inbox in a readable format, then do subscribe. The link is in the description below. Okay, let's get straight to it. Do you think it is possible to drink cold drinks when you have a cold? Most of us stay away from it, right? It sounds a bit counterintuitive. To drink cold drinks when you have a cold would mean worsening of your cold symptoms. But is that really true or is that just motherly intuition? A group of scientists published a review in 2015. Now a scientific review is essentially a big research that is done on all the research that we already have. So a group of scientists get together and they study all all the available evidence on a particular subject, they collate that information and they publish that work. So that kind of work is highly dependable and you can definitely trust this source. So this group of scientists wanted to study the relationship between drinking cold things and a common upper respiratory tract infection or a URTI. And the surprising finding was that they found zero evidence between the links of drinking cold things and having an upper respiratory tract infection. In scientific terms, they found no causative relationship between the two. Simply put, science does not say that ice cream leads to a common cold. However, science does not say that ice cream does not lead to a common cold. Confused? I'll say that again. Science doesn't say that ice cream causes a common cold, but science doesn't say that ice cream does not either. There's a very fine line here which makes research so interesting. So let's try to explain this point by taking a look at a bank robber and the police. So let's say a woman robs a bank. She says she didn't do it. The police say she did. She doesn't have any alibis to support her claim, the police don't have any evidence either. And because of a lack of evidence, the woman goes free. So in this particular case, we don't have any evidence to support the fact that she definitely robbed the bank. But we also don't have any alibis to say that she definitely didn't rob the bank. So in this case, what do we assume? That she didn't rob the bank. Similarly, science has no evidence that links cold drinking to the common cold which is why we assume that there is no link between the two and there's no causative relationship between the two. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and I'd love to see your comments in the comment box below. If there's anything you would like explained, do leave that below or you can just email me on hello at medwithsam.com. Don't forget that there is a subscribe link in the description box below to my newsletter. So if you'd like the similar content, but if you'd like it in a readable format in your inbox, then don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.